Parker and Danny Green are your one and your two. And in the middle, out of Brazil, take with 2008, the 6 11 pivot man, Tiago Sporter. Taken 2008, the 6 11 pivot man Tiago Sporter. Then there's Kawhi Leonard, and it's Duncan in a power forward position. And then for the Miami Heat, Chalmers and D Wade are the guards. And playing at the five, the always versatile 6 11 star big man, able to score inside and out, Chris Bosch. Then it's LeBron James, 
and it's Haslam in at the four spot. The Spurs have always been very mindful of resting key players during the regular season. Some of it has to do with age of their players. Some of it is regarding talent because they knew they were a playoff team most years. And you look at the research, there is something to be said for not playing guys when they're fatigued because injuries are more likely if you play tired. And here are the Heat. Now let's find out what head coach Greg Popovich had to say to Doris Burke. Doris? Of course, the conversation veered to the challenge of defending LeBron James. And he said, there's not a lot of good options with him. He can really do it all. I think you just have to try and stay in front of him. And if he gets in close, you have to bring help. And guys, we've seen LeBron really force the issue as far as getting into the lane. We'll see how they do. Thanks again, Doris giving them an opportunity at second chance points with some hard work on the glass there. He dishes at the box. That's good. And back to the Spurs and their strategy of resting their star players, not without some controversy. The NBA, as you may recall, fined the Spurs and Coach Popovich for sitting all their starting players for a nationally televised game back in November. Well, it was their fourth game in five nights. Pop wanted to rest some of their guys because of just the, the nature of their schedule. But I think the, the problem was he didn't give the league advance warning. In that game against Miami, when he rested those three players, he actually sent them home. And I think that was a little shot at the league. And that's why there was a problem, and that's why the Spurs and Popovich ended up getting fined. The Spurs shooting their first free throw this game. Well, they were very pleased with their free throw numbers a year ago. They knocked down about 79% from the strike as a team. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. You know, people look at Mario Chalmers and say he might not be your typical point guard. He's not a big-time penetrator or playmaker, but he's a good fit for the Heat with his active defense and spot-up shooting from long range. I think it's a hand-in-glove fit, actually. And Chalmers, a three-time All-American, NCAA champion his junior season at Kansas, received the Most Outstanding Player Award for that 2008 tournament. Hit what was probably the biggest shot in Kansas history, the three-pointer that sent that game against Memphis into overtime that allowed the Jayhawks to go on and win that national championship. They're off and running. Good start here. They've knocked down four of their first five. But drive by Wade. And that's two fouls for him very early in this ball game. He'll probably have to spend some time on the bench before halftime. And Kevin, he's really solidified his role as the closer on this team. You know, Miami struggled to figure out whether they'd go to LeBron or Bosch or Wade at first. I think Wade has become the guy. Well, I tell you what, it's nice to have two guys that are capable of closing, Steve. And I agree with you, though. His aggressiveness and confidence probably give him a slight edge in closing over LeBron. You can play great defense on him, but he still typically finds a way to get the shot he wants. And they're on fire. They've made four straight shots to get this thing going. 